What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we're just going to quickly mop up this small American army. We don't want to take too many casualties as we push on towards Williamsburg. So let's get to it. Now my campaign's going pretty well. The main wild card aspect is going to be what the French do. Because they they are to our west in America, and there's always a risk that they will uh, turn eastward and try and capture our provinces, and that could make things a bit dicey. But there's not a huge amount we can do about it right now. We are slowly building our garrison in Florida, which should be able to hold off um, any French attacks and potentially provide some firepower to recapture any territories that we lose. But for now, we're all about pushing up the Americans coastline. So this isn't going to be a positional battle. We're going to want to just take them out. And we're going to do that via artillery and massed musketry. Horse artillery doesn't really have a role at the minute. Get my howitz, hide in the lines. Excellent. Although, too far, I probably should just advance. Hit charges. My dragoons, dragoons up. Ah, uh, yes, you're charging my cavalry. Let's put you. You want to run the gauntlet? Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, that was fairly inevitable. Stay where you are broadly. Although they're going to get charged now. All square. Let's get my general in. Thirty unit of dragoons. We can push the Americans back. We have artillery ceasefire. Get you guys out of square. Straighten you guys out. Send some cavalry to chase down the enemy guns. These are Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Where's my howitzer? Start not dropping shots in on that provincial cav. Deploy the cavalry. Where's my general? They are going to get involved as well. Slowly advance. Make sure we knock units out. Chief things we just want is fewer units to recover to the US main force as possible. There's only four native musketman aux auxiliary there. that way. You manage in grey against the rangers. We're not bothered about trying to stop the cavalry. You can come over here and help out. Two more rangers. 
Now it's everyone against this infantry regiment and they are spread out something fierce. But I think we've got plenty of cavalry to do the job. Seven men remaining. Good. Yeah, so it wasn't so much about killing the Americans, but just about trying to do damage and not take damage ourselves. Excellent. We've got 159. We can do a bit of replenishment. So we're ready. You're ready to push up. 121 cash left. Building basic roads. Make sure my howitzers are ready to push up. In terms of our tech, who turns to a government by consent? Once we get to Philadelphia, we'll have broken their back. Not oh, the Americans. Are st I mean, it's it's good that the U.S. does just keep throwing forces into the battle. They're not just kind of ignoring it. Oh, there's the U.S. Navy. They've got involved, but luckily they've got involved by blockading one of our individual trade ports rather than going after our capital, which is very nice of them. So France is capable of putting a good number of troops into the field. And that's the spooky part. I've got that army in Venezuela that's ready to rock and roll should things get dicey. But I'd rather have them ready to attack French colonial holdings in the Caribbean rather than... Rather than deploying them um, against continental US. But then again, if I have to do that, then I'll do that. Let's not pretend that mainland USA is not a, vi is not a valuable target, because it 100% is. I mean, feasibly, a decent navy, but ultimately, if they're only blockading port of pay, I'm not really that bothered about fight about that action. New men advance, new men. Okay, we are going to separate here because we're operating under the assumption that both of these armies are depleted. And we just don't want them to flank around us, so we're going to do something like this. 12,000. So I think Charleston, you're going to get cobbled roads. The College of Divinity is a Protestant building, so let's make sure you're got rid of. Let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Upgrade Pensacola. Upgrade your production. Mega yield. Mega yield. Cotton's worth more, a lot more than sugar. So mega yield. Cotton field. Cotton plantation it is. 4,200. Ah yes, metal roads. Oh, no, I forgot about that. Make sure everyone's Metal eroding it up. So you've got it, Cuba. Cuba's my next valley, mo next most profitable region, so they get metal roads. It's Curacao and the Carolinas, they've jumped up the line. They've, they've uh, entered quite nicely in the table of rankings. So we've got 1200. Ah, you're starting to run out of people, aren't you? Yes. In which case, I may as well just still go for infantry. But your pop growth isn't huge. Oh well. One more turn until we get government by consent, and then I think I'll probably put you on to... Flying Shuttle, because I've got plenty, I've got a good number of industrial buildings. Flying Shuttle is just a flat upgrade to their performance. Okay, so that's more more of a concern because they are now um, actually... Ooh! Britain, Britain's taken Paris. So that should cause France some upset. Ide if Britain takes out, knocks out France, that would be ideal because then it would leave so, many, so much territory in the Americas as uh, rebel held 
and then we can easily swoop in. But I expect I'll probably get booted out. Or they'll go the other way and get super aggro at trying to uh, <laughs> trying to expand in the Americas to try and shore up the homeland. Prussia is taking Amsterdam, but Amsterdam's rebelling. Savoy's going to be Savoy. They were good allies of ours in Portugal. Actually, yeah, France is down to... Actually, is France down to just Corsica? See, in theory, that's not a bad result. So Trinidad and Tobago is not super wealth wealthy. I get a whole bunch of tech, but... I want the money, damn it. But yeah, if Portugal... Well, it depends if Madrid is owned by Spain or is owned by Portugal. Because if it's owned by... Eh, the United Provinces are back. So we've got government by consent. Is Madrid owned by Spain? By France? Yes, it is owned by France. Because if it was Portugal, then that would squeeze France over to Bastia. So now you, you're you impacting our balance of trade. 1100. 1100. Okay, so you, Sebastian Serrano, can replenish, seize, siege Williamsburg, because what will happen is this guy will de destroy John Sullivan's force, then we'll take Williamsburg. But I think what I've got to do is sail out my fleet to engage theirs. Third and second rate ship of the line that scare me. This could go horribly wrong, but let's give it a go. So yeah, the second and third are scary. Lots of this chaff I'm not as bothered about, but these guys... You think these guys can effectively knock out my ships? While these guys just be a new... Call, just... Are just a nuisance, so... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I lost this one. Let's just say that. Ideally, I'll just mask the second and the third, keep them out of the action, and destroy the rest of their fleet. Or, ideally, their second and third rates will be stuck at the back of the line, so I end up having to fight the bulk of their smaller fleets first. If I had to pick, that would be my preference. There's their second, there's the third. And that's their their lighter force. I suppose really I need to just cut in and then just start to do Cross the T somewhat, which added a bit of a really unhelpful wiggle, but lots of my ships are quite fast, so. Let's just be a bit more aggressive at cutting the T. Ultimately, though, we will just kind of sail our ships into a position, then just hunker down and be content with doing some good damage from range. Egged it. Because they're not within range of chain, which is unfortunate. Although they are they are starting to turn themselves, so they're getting ready. I think you might have to cut it a bit sharper there just to get just try and get as more a bit more advantage of the wind direction. Okay. 
Because you are scary. Second rate ship of the line. Why you make so you keep making these little corrections that keep adjusting your fire, but I'm not you're not actually yeah, now you're now you're engaging. Try do some damage. Not at one gun, but that's not enough. We need to knock out many more. time comes you're definitely going to start firing chain or do you chop them in half that's ga that's a gamble but let's try it close the distance try and chop the second rate away from the remainder of their fleet we're still engaging argonaut switch to ch oh no everyone's gonna stay round shot are they you're gonna switch to chain but the hope is if i can get behind trimble turnbull i mean this is gonna be really ugly Well, you might have to just sit here firing broadsides into him. You can make raid start firing chain to the back of Argonaut. chain into Argonaut, onto the back of Argonaut. Excellent, you've cut the head off. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Chain. You'll have to keep sailing on. fire chain just so are you we're gonna have to just put a broadside into the second rate even though it's probably gonna result in your doom spill the wind from your sails let the fit let the second rate go try cutting behind Slow, spill the wind from your sails. Okay, this is where this is moments like this is where the uh, you just need to fire a round shot. You're not going to have a chance. Push ahead. 
get ready to engage Trimble, Turnbull. You guys are gonna have to push this way. You just keep firing chain, just try and knock out Argonauts sails. You just try to hold out the second rate. Right? Count Argonaut sail. Gun it, gun it, gun it. So you drop, drop anchor and just keep firing. Second ship down. Try and knock out one of your masts. trying to get us away. It's the wrong direction entirely. You cut the line in half there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Tank back around. The, the second of the, the the big ships just do too much damage. No, 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 no. No, bad idea. Everyone book it. going away from the wood no they're all going because the into the wind is the wrong way entirely very well keep going you've surrendered there's just no way no way it's not gonna work they got to try and run the gauntlet. Run the gauntlet. To recover whatever ships I can. Killed the enemy. Wait a minute.
this accidentally, you may have managed to claw it back. Form your line again. Gee, wait, how's that happened? Well, this this about sums up my naval skill or lack thereof. The, 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 the best result was when I tried to run away. Very well. That's, that's really bizarre. Was there a couple of just lucky shots? So they both they both they both are surrendered, not routing. but you will ready your broadside. San Miguel is sinking. ships alongside those of the enemy. Take that, Hercules. Sail on. Scoot on a little bit faster. Oh, that's our ship. Big F there. Ironically, though, I think we're going to have taken out the big ships, but it's the little ones that are going to take us out. Last time, <laughs> even though last time it actually worked, I think now we do actually have to run away. You men just sail straight through the middle of them. Because now the weather, now we're on the right side of the enemy. Do not have a hope in hell, because you are. Because neither of you do. You are. You are very much stuck. You're withdrawing the complete wrong way. But yeah, I think it's funny, really. The, the big ships, the big ships got dealt with, but there were just enough, not terrible small ships, that they could they just swarm the back of our line, and that was that. Nevertheless, hopefully we've achieved our aims, and the enemy are gonna have to pull their navy back from our port in order to repair. All we can hope. So one of our fifth rates is sinking. And we we're not out of the woods yet, because they're still chasing us down with some of their brigs. So where's the edge of the line? The edge of the map is here. Still got some way to go. 
the brigs are chasing us, but the most of their yeah, that low. almost well the second rate the second rate is actually sunk. So that's not a not a terrible result, but this isn't great. But this is what I mean by war with the United States was almost is well it is inevitable because you just can't do what you need to do with just fourth rates. Or at least I can't, because I'm not that good. I need that naval administration building to gain some uh are they getting ready to board? Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna capture that. Oh well, yeah, unless I effectively go, hey little galleon that wants to board. Hey little brig. I mean, there might be enough to work for them. So they're board they're boarding the galley in Sacramento. It will get give my fourth and no, actually they're both fourths. Give them time to escape. They've got 72 men, we've got 140. So in theory, we should win a boarding action. Assuming they're already wavering. But let's still keep time sped up, because whatever happens here. Oh no, they... Okay, so they managed to surrender. We managed, they managed to capture our... Galleon. That's a bit of a bummer. And they're going to capture a bunch of our ships back there. So the US Navy will grow off the back of Grand Columbia. So you're trying to board as well, little brig. But we are going to make it to the lion. But yes, this is why we cannot let... Well, we need to defeat the United States on land. Because at sea, they can overmatch us. Close defeat. Well, at least <laughs> it was very polite of them to refer to it as a close, close defeat. So they captured... Set, oh, seven of our ships were captured. So that'll make up for their losses. But their second rate is sunk. Okay, so let's okay, let's hope that they will hope they clear off because we need to fight the battles that actually matter. Let's engage John Sullivan before the gates of Williamsburg. And then it's on to New York, and then Philadelphia is on the horizon. And this is what I mean by why it can be very, very dangerous to be reliant on trade for the, your income. Because before you know it, all you need is a couple of ports blockaded and then you are in deep trouble. Which is why, in, which is why industry and political growth technology, well, political economic growth technologies become so valuable. is because you build up that home technology base to such a point where you don't actually care if they blockade you or not because you've got ample resources to do what you need to do so let's let's try ambush their army enough that they can't so that few of them few of their uh, troops retreat northward They're deploying a defensive position on the hill. There's my tribal auxiliary here. Run them up first. My light cavalry units push the push the flank. Tribal Auxiliary to push up ahead of my melee cavalry. Give those, give the Colonial Lights a volley, then my Dragoons will sweep in. Oh, 
I want my Dragoons chiefly to attack them. I'll take engaging my lights. Says I will pick. Well, to be fair, my actual gun, my foot artillery, just keep engaging other units. My howitzers can hit the artillery. Run my infantry up, secure the line. Native musket and auxiliary. You may run up to here and blast them with musket fire. Because they will stop. Go on, Grenadiers, get involved. Make sure they die. Cavalry. Yeah, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, it says. Start dropping shells on their infantry line. Yeah, they're actually doing a lot of damage. That light cavalry unit. Okay, right. Run my light cavalry away. Native warriors. Not a problem if you guys smashed into them. But they are a problem if you just trot into them. So let's run the 8th into them. Then my cavalry wing can about face and charge in. Actually you guys, all, actually you guys can probably sit back here and engage from distance. She did some damage. Let's begin. Let's begin the advance. Send some of our cavalry to pursue the enemy. There goes the native warrior auxiliary. So all of you men except the infantry run up here. go after there. This infantry block. Pick new artillery targets. Okay, let's send in my my light cav carefully. Why are you routing? Just from the artillery, just from the rate, the impact of the. Just the long rifleman that did that, was it? Well, let's deal with their guns. Yeah, they came back. Artillery focus the general's bodyguard. Charge the Hessian lights in the rear. Charge the general's bodyguard. Ah, whoop, stakes, ahoy. Cavalry 
cavalry defense is showing their value once again. Push in. Oh, we've spurred the long rifleman to charge. Who's that back there? Infantry. Union form up. The seventh regiment. Ooh dear. Seventh regiment are going down. Lots of my cavalry force is quite upset. Grenadiers are all squared away. Let's just try not to uh, cause my sieging army to be in that much trouble. Okay, there goes the general. Okay, where's my general? Okay, you, okay, you guys team up on the long road from then. Artillery, ceasefire. You men push up. You men chase down the infantry. You men go after demi cannons. Kill the long riflemen. Yes, continue. It'd be good to kill them, but I think we're not gonna get there. You guys actually just hunker down. You guys do it, because you're you're already the correct side of the Cavalry defences, although you might not kill them all, because they are. There's a couple of guys out here as well. Let's see. Yeah, you might get them. Five men left, few here. Four. One left. Nice. They are definitely going to esca escape. The fifth regiment. Close victory. Yeah, not ideal, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Let's so push them back to Annapolis. And let's advance up. Eight hundred. Ooh. Do not advance up. Dead. Let us combine some of our infantry units together. Send for reinforcements from Florida. Let's just send a. It's just the two units up, actually. What we could definitely do with knocking out Williamsburg before these guys fancy causing any trouble. So let's do that. Let's secure Williamsburg. We may end up having to deploy our force from Venezuela just to try and break the back of the United States effort by landing behind their lines. Let's get cracking. Boot artillery, stay back and bombard from range. Keep my skirmishers and heavies together. Port artillery, try push up with the rest of the army.
run my cavalry in. Ah, my howitzers have not got involved. I'm going to advance them up to get more in range of the rest of their line. Horse artillery. So advance. Now my guns get back to trying to engage the enemy. Let's run my infantry up. Let's try stick onto the main line, although it's interesting there. Tribal Auxiliary are... Well, they were originally falling back, but now they are not. But we are going to smash into them with two units of cavalry. Let's hope my infantry can sort this out before... My cavalry can sort this out before my infantry show up, although... Probably in our interest just to shove a line up from Trina into it. Because our infantry line does need to run. So it's the long rifleman plus mercenaries get my cavalry wide Two men anchor you facing that way. These two men push up. Make sure my general's up here as well. Not not the cavalry. Everybody keep on running. We can wrap around this flank nicely. Probably get our artillery, our, our foot artillery to engage other targets. So we are going to be able to wrap around. Oh, that's a large infantry retreat. So these men are positioned to engage the fourth. Actually, let's get one of our one of our artillery pieces to focus on them. One artillery piece to hit the long riflemen. Push up, secure the position. Can't we're not going to just chase these guys down. Not push my cavalry in because it is very weak.
push up our line. And get my coverage to smash the 4th Regiment. Let's focus our artillery fire on other targets. Force artillery keep engaging the colonial light. Try engage the dragoons. It's the long riflemen that have pushed up. Let's push some colonial line into there as well. Howitzers just keep smashing home. Grenadiers go after the Bowman Auxiliary. The Bowman Auxiliary, yeah, they're falling quick to Grenadiers. You're upset. Charge of the Guerrilla Mercenaries. Okay, but let's. Focus on trying to advance our flank up. Push you men into the colonial white cav. Where's my general? Come back. Come over here just to keep everyone's spirits up. Excellent. Push up aggressively, take the position. Good, so you can go to work on the light cav. Uh, light cav is upset. Howitzers keep dropping shells in on the enemy. Bring a unit of grenadiers back to support this cavalry fight. No, don't have to form square. Excellent, the Americans have broken. Advancing artillery smashing in nearby. The Grenadiers have tipped this fight in our favour. Third regiment's upset. Fourteenth regiment's upset. I think a lot of people are upset. Tenth regiment of militia looks vulnerable. There we go. City is taken. Excellent. Although we must be ready to deal with the American counterattack that will surely come from Annapolis. If it does not... Yeah, we're not going to replenish this in one turn. So dry dock, in theory, I can, hey, in theory I can recruit second rate ships of the line. Well, let's hit in 10 and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to commit the other army to the fight. Land somewhere to the north, because yeah, now they're going to start running around New York while still building up strength. And I can't, I'm gonna have to send one army back to try to stop them. They'll leave me outnumbered at the front line. Mm -hmm. Gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, oh, 
that is getting quite tempting. Wedge, I mean, that's... You know what? No alliance, but everything else. I will give you Trinidad and Tobago. I need the cash. I need the cash to immediately start fortifying. I'm well, not fortifying, but bolstering my uh, presence. Now the fact that the the Americans have uh, stopped sieging our capital, we may be able to get some to make some really good progress here. Yeah, if I can land my army north and take Boston, I think that would cause a significant challenge for our adversary. They all have to pick. We'll have to pick between sending troops south and sending troops north. So there, Sweden's moving troops around. Stop sending troops one at a time. Send them all at once. Twenty-three thousand. That's what I want to see. I've got a gentleman in Panama. So let's run him over to Kumana. It's probably better to do it by ship, really, but I don't worry that bothered. Right. So you may going to come back here. And just push these push these rebels back. See men repair. Replenish, you men replenish. Let's try to get the military governor's barracks repaired. That gets us troops on the front. We can divvy up. Divvy up our troop recruitment into both these armies, so you guys will be ready to rock and roll, both of you, soon. Actually, I don't need to deploy. Well, to be honest, I should, really. Get a Grenadier unit, and then you'll be ready to go. Yep, it's so unfortunate I had to give up San Jose, but I need the cash. I need money, because now these guys are hunting. 17,000. Let's try build a craft workshop in Raleigh. High yield cotton plantation, but I think exporting it is challenging. Try to grade the weavers' cottages. Who is there? Second and third rates. To be honest, I've captured your production centre of heavy wives well, of large ships. Sadly, I've not got a... I've not changed my... What I'm researching. Don't research. Separation of powers. Research. Flying shuttle. Flat upgrade to money. Bonus to town wealth income. A lot of port upgrades we could get on with. I think I may well do that. In the face of not having spent money on anything else. Bogota. Upgrade the commercial basin. Camera for a form slowly creeping up, but it seems okay. One more turn till we get our grenadiers at Caracas. Oh yeah, they're bolstering their strength. Yeah, the Americans are not holding back. We're gonna have to beef up our presence at the front on the front line. Then I'm gonna have to land my army behind the lines. I wonder if the French are going to invade the Dutch province. To be honest, I don't really, I don't really care about 
whether or not the United Provinces survive or not. If they get destroyed in Europe, the territory will become viable to be reinvaded. Russia is on the move. Well, they're just, it looks like they're just bringing... We're redeploying some ships back to the Baltic Sea where they were running around in the Mediterranean. Twenty thousand. Okay, let's try and maintain a drumbeat of having at least one port upgrade going on at once. Gordon Bewley, John Sullivan, Luther Webster. Let's try build a f our first second rate ship of the line because we need to rebuild our navy after that calamity. Pair. But new man embark at Puerto Cabello. I've already got a spare sloop I can redeploy. Recruit some militia tracks as a bit of a garrison. So the heavy their large navy is in here. Let's try sail up to Boston. See what they got going on. Oh, the city is ripe for the taking, and their their uh, their port is unprotected. So we are definitely going to want to fight that. I, I, effectively, I want to fight that and see how that changes the calculus here. Do they pull troops away that will allow us to push? Um, but. But now, let's just make sure our economy is being upgraded the best it can. Lists. So you've... What? Oh, okay, I was going to say, why is Bogotá not at the top? Curacao, here, have cobbled roads, because you don't even have those. So let's check that everyone's got at least cobbled. Although someone doesn't. Williamsburg. Yeah. Okay. So you guys need to keep replenishing. Here at Williamsburg, we're going to recruit a couple of units of Colonial Light. But we're going to keep the rest of the money to attack Boston or to repair Boston. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of effectively their second city. Radio. Cheers everyone.